What? I'm not promoting anything. I like Pollo Loco. Romero's Movie News. I got your back. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 18 of Romero Movie News, the show where I give you updates on all movies, whether they be good or bad. But as always, try to keep it good on this show. First bit of movie news is that the first official trailer for Ghost Rider 2 Spirit of Vengeance has shown up online. He's starring, of course, none other than Nicolas Cage reprising his role as Johnny Blaze. And the plot behind this movie is that he's in Eastern Europe hiding out there to try to forget who he is, his curse and everything. Many people saying that this is a reboot slash sequel, which doesn't really make much sense to me because, you know... If it's not a sequel, how does that make it a reboot? It wouldn't... I don't know. I'll say this much, they did change a lot about him. His personality is different. He isn't as emo or whiny as he was in the first film. In this one, he's like a badass and he doesn't care about what anyone thinks. And he also has a brand new costume and bike. So it looks not that bad. I'll say that Ghost Rider, this Ghost Rider may be the only movie in which I don't think Nicolas Cage looks retarded. Anyways, if you want to check out the first official trailer to Ghost Rider 2 Spirit of Vengeance, check out the link in the description box. Also, another trailer that came out this week was for Machine Gun Preacher, the movie starring Gerard Butler, which is inspired by true events. The basic plot behind this movie is about a man who wants to right the wrongs of all his life decides to believe and have get a faith in God and goes to Africa to build an orphanage for these little kids but along the way uh, African rebels uh, start destroying and, uh, and terrorizing everyone of course Gerard Butler's character doesn't want to stand by and watch this so he decides to do the logical thing and fight back the movie is set to be released around the this year or next year not sure but the movie does look pretty good looks interesting if you want to check out the trailer for machine gun priest click the link in the description box also the first official teaser trailer to underworld 4 awakening the fourth film in the underworld franchise has shown up online the basic plot behind this movie is that kate beckinsale's character has woken up from a 12 year sleep and it turns out that the world she's in now is different from the one she was in before how humans are dominating and they're hunting vampires and lichens alike and of course the lichens and the vampires are still fighting one another so it's kind of like a triangle war humans versus lichens versus vampires versus humans versus it's, it's just like a circle of death anyways Kate Beckinsale's character is on a mission to find out what happened when she was in slumber and try to find out if anything's changed and stuff it's set to be released next year, but if you want to check out the first official trailer to Underworld 4 Awakening, click the link in the description box. So another trailer for another Nicolas Cage film, which is Trespass, has shown up online. The thing about behind the tra this movie is that uh, these thugs break into these rich guy's house and decide to, you know, terrorize him and his family and they threaten to kill his wife and his daughter if he doesn't open the vault. And it turns out these guys who are robbing him are actually like his co-workers not his co-worker like people who worked for him so uh obviously of course what happens in this movie is that these family decides to fight back so yeah like a cliched out or played out thing you know oh someone robs us and then the people who are getting robbed decide to fight back and it's something i've already seen before and plus you know nicholas cage <laughs> that's all i gotta say if you want to check out the first official trailer to Trespass, make sure to click the link in the description box. Last bit of movie news is that the second trailer for Immortals, the upcoming movie made by the same people who brought us 300, has shown up online. Now the plot behind this movie is basically that a tyrant lord decides to declare war against the entire world, and the gods have no choice but to turn over their power to a human. It basically based itself on this one guy who's chosen by the gods to fight this tyrant who, like, releases the... the the, these titans and stuff and then it, the movie looks pretty well done I like the way and many people are like oh it's 300 or stuff and it does not look anything like 300 it looks pretty awesome and I gotta say I'm really anticipating it anyways you want to check out the second trailer to Immortals make sure to click the link in the description box well, guys this is all the time I have for episode 18 of Romero Movie News remember all of today's stories are linked in the description remember to follow me on Twitter and check out my website always remember I got your back so you're on track. See you guys on Tuesday. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.